All right, guys. So I think all of us who've bought the 16 inch M1 MacBook Pro uh, 2021, obviously, has a charging issue with the, uh, the power brick that's provided with your MacBook, right? So as you can see, this is the MagSafe charger. Here is the 140 watt brick. So I'm just gonna open it. Okay, so here it is. Now it's plugged into this extension that I have here. So I'm gonna plug it in. Okay, and my MacBook is powered off. So I'm just gonna plug it in and we are gonna see the issue. As you can see, if your MacBook is not powered on, this keeps happening. And regardless of whatever fix Apple is trying to tell you, it's not working. So everyone is facing this issue. Till the time you turn on your MacBook Pro, this charging issue keeps happening. It doesn't matter what you do with this. But here is the strange thing which I found out. So it doesn't matter if you're plugged into the wall or an extension, the issue is gonna be there. And the issue is not with the MacBook, it's not with the cable as well. It's with the charging brick. And this is why. So I'm gonna take out the USB-C and I'm gonna plug it in to my power delivery port on my extension board, like so. And we're gonna plug this in. And now let's see. It's charging. Did you see that? It's charging. And here, just so that you guys know that I'm not making this stuff up, here is the cable right here. And it's plugged into the power delivery on my extension board. And voila, it's charging just fine. And if I just take this out, and I plug it back in to the original Apple 140 watt charger. The problem starts again. All right, and I'm going to take this out. And I'm going to plug it back in to the power delivery port. And it starts to charge now yes it does go off for just a second after plugging it in but as you can see it keeps charging so i'm not really saying this is a fix i mean this is the issue here so apple if you see this video you either provide a replacement to all your customers for this because there's a problem with the charging brick here i'm guessing or do something but for all the others out there who don't have the time to actually go and get this replaced. Uh, sorry for the call. So if you don't have the time to actually get this replaced, really simple, get yourself a power delivery extension cable or a power delivery, uh, I would say, uh, what do you, what, what's that, power bank, and plug it in and it's gonna charge your MacBook just fine. Yes, obviously it's gonna charge it much, much slower because 140 watts versus whatever this, puts out I don't know but it's a fix I mean it's at least something that you if you leave it charging using your MagSafe which is so convenient you know it's gonna charge instead of plugging it in and knowing that it's not charging so it can ruin your workflow it can ruin a lot of things so yeah this is what I found out it's a quick fix and yeah I hope this helps guys uh, if you found this helpful please smash the like button and share this video with as many people as possible so that they know that there is a sort of fix to this and make this blow up so that Apple actually sees this and fixes this issue. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button and subscribe to PR Kastan if you haven't already. And I will catch you guys very soon in the next one. Cheers.